Since the last seven. Huh. Um, <laughs> are we good? Yep. Okay. Um, I want to uh, explain uh, what my text was about earlier. Um, my wife brought to my attention that now's the time to be conscious of our surroundings. Um, so that's why when it gets dark, please, um, I would prefer if all sisters are walked out with a brother. Um, because we have to be careful now. Like I said, it's holiday season. This is the most, this is the highest time for crime. So we want to protect the sisters and brothers to protect each, each other. So be mindful, okay? Um, the other part I deal with after class. Um, we, we, we remind me about the bowling thing after the class, okay? Okay. So before we get started, is any questions? Hey, sister. Any questions? Uh, for those that are new, um, this is an interactive class. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. This is not the environment um, where you still um, there's a problem, ask a question. So the whole premise of this class is to be edified. I mean, to leave here with proper understanding. Right? I don't, the most, I don't want anyone to sit here, just to sit here. You must understand what's been taught through the, through the spirit of the Most High. Okay? Mm -hmm. so please. Did you call Tony? Yep. Okay. So, the title for today's lesson is Examine Ourselves Whether We Be in the Faith. Okay? Examine Ourselves Whether We Be in the Faith. That's a, that's a deep. <clears throat> Commandment right there. Meaning that many people in the world think they're in faith. The Bible says the scriptures are what determine whether you're in the faith or not. It's not a personal feeling, what you think, you know. It's what the Most High says. The Most High has a strict order to what He commands of His children. He's not a respectful person, so no one can have their own little. Personal understanding with the Most High, where He allow you to do something that the other person can't do. It's strictly across the board. This is what all His children must do, right? There's many leaders in this world that the Bible calls false prophets, and as the Bible says, they led Israel to error. They taught them lies. And the Most High said, "Them are not my pastors. Them are not my my shepherds. I did not speak with them. They prophesy lies. They prophesy deceit, right?" That's why people today feel that they can do their own thing and the most high will forgive them. And over and over again, do the same thing. But let's see what the scriptures say. So as we go on through the lesson, let's examine ourselves to see are we, are we in the faith? Okay? Are we in Yahshua? Are we being like Christ? Which is a commandment. And to make this disclaimer, a lot of people feel that based on, on what the world teaches that no one can be like Christ. And that's a lie. The, the scriptures say, even Christ himself commands us to be like him. He came in simple flesh to put away sin, showing us that we can do the same thing. We must do the same thing. Our, the Most High does not make us subject to sin. Right? And that's what the world teaches, that you're subject to sin like you can't help it. you got to sin. The scriptures say something different. So, let's get 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, which is the title of this lesson. 2 Corinthians 13, verse 5. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Mm -hmm. 
the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. So it says prove yourselves, right? Mm -hmm. How do we prove ourselves? Because like I'm serious, many people believe because they get this feeling God talked to them, uh, God allowed them to do this. They believe that they're in the faith, right? The Bible says there's many guys, right? It's only one true one. There's many guys in the world who give power, who give gifts, right? They're fallen angels. They have power. And that's one that's part of the main deception of the world. They think because this good thing happened to them, it had to come from the most high. But the Bible says that Satan comes as an angel of light. So we have to be very careful. Because remember, our foreparents thought that they were serving the most high too. And that's why we're in captivity, because they wasn't. They were serving other gods. Right? They was raised serving Bela, who was Satan. So they thought they were serving the most high. And our people today are doing the same thing. Right? So prove ourselves. Does that mean just coming here to class, listen to me as or a different brother? Is that proving yourself? No. How do we prove ourselves? By lining with the word. By living 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 with the to God, mm -hmm. right? So it's not taking someone's word, but it's it's the scriptures. Like mm -hmm. like 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 uh, my mom said, you know, taking the scriptures and applying them to yourself, right? Not doing as the world do. Being holy, separate from the world. Okay, let's get it. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your know ye not your own selves. How that Yasha is in you, except he be reprobates? Do y'all know what reprobate mean? Raise your hand if you got an answer. That's part of it. That's true, because let's just get the uh, the the, uh, the Greek word for, for that right there. G ninety six. Uh, unapproved, that is rejected by implication, worthless, literally or morally, cast away, rejected. Reprobate. Also foolish, right? Mm -hmm. Worthless. So your thinking to the most high is foolish. Worthless. If you think you serve the most high, you're not in harmony with these scriptures, following the law, seven commandments. To the most high, you're worthless. You're reprobate. Mm -hmm. Okay? First John chapter two, verse four through six. And for those who are, are new, who are familiar with the structure, um, the Bible says that we must teach precept on precept, precept on precept, line upon line, line upon line, here in the room, there in the room. All right? So through thy precepts, I get understanding. So you may hear me expound, but what you're going to hear coming after my, my speech is a scripture saying the same thing. Okay? Never would I use my own thinking to describe what the Most High is trying to say. I said that that's that's a very dangerous thing to play with the most high's words. Mm -hmm. Alright? So, let's get it. Khan, the book of wait, wait, wait. We have pages turned to First John chapter two, verse four through six. Khan, when everyone's ready. And it reads, He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Is, who? is a liar. Now, <clears throat> let's just cue this right now, right? 
um, like I said, about these these false prophets. I was just on the phone a couple days ago with a guy that was telling me the law was done away with. What did John just say? The Spirit of the Most High. He that said, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. So it goes to all of us. If we think, if we're saying that you're serving the Most High, that you know him, that you live for him, you keep his nice commandments. Tyler didn't say it, nor Brother Maha. The Most High said, We are liars. This way, I come to understand, like, all our life we've been lied to. Right? Mm -hmm. And so we have to be reprogrammed to what the Most High says, what He commands us to do. So, like Christ says, any man that takes the law is done away with, he'd be called the least in the kingdom. He would be destroyed. The law will always stand. It's what the Most High will judge us with. Right? So, Most High said it again. Read it again. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So, as we're examining ourselves, right, see whether we are in the faith. Are we keeping the commandments? Do we know what the commandments are? Like today is the Sabbath. Do we earn the Sabbath? Do we know how to function on the Sabbath? Or is Sabbath any day that you choose to you? See, it's a lot of confusion going on. But today is the Sabbath. It's the seventh day, according to the most high. And the most high time starts when the sun goes down. So yesterday, when the sun went down, it started Saturday, the seventh day. And when the sun is going down now, it's the end of the Sabbath. So you can't make your day, you can't take the most high's day and make it your own. It's his day. It's not our day. We can't say, well, must have just must have just Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. You can't do that. It's his day. You can't take something from someone else and call it yours. Mm -hmm. Right? You have any questions on how to function on the Sabbath? I'd love to answer your questions after the class. Really, really would. So examine ourselves and see do we keep his commandments? Or do we keep man's commandments, our own commandments? So, Verse 5. But whoso keepeth his word in him verily or truly is the love of God perfected. Hereby, hereby know we that we are in him. He that said he abided in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. So you can't say that you're walking with Christ if you're not walking like him. Mm -hmm. Right? We're going to get to a scripture. This scripture? We'll read, where are we at? First we'll do two more precepts, then we're going to get to what Christ says about walking together. Okay? So I'm not going to put the cart before the horse. I'm going to wait. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's get it. First uh, John chapter 3, verse 6. So again, that's breaking down the philosophy or the personal thinking that God's in your life. And, no, but I don't want to say that. That God's in life because you can't say what God has done to it for an individual, mm -hmm. right? I was talking to Tyler about that this morning. Was this morning I was saying that? Huh. Yeah. You know, like, I thank him for the time that he allowed me to be a witness because he got me a foundation. You know, this is a journey, right? I thank him for exposing me to teach me who I am. It, it crossed my T's and down my eyes, and I know what I am. I know the function, what I'm supposed to do. Let's keep his laws and commandments. To love him with all my heart, and all my soul, and my body first force, and love the brother and the sisters like I love myself, oh. right? And keep all his commandments, not some but all, mm -hmm. right? So I thank him for that. But it was a progression. So it was times in my life where he saved my life, in your lives too. So I can't say he can't say that God is not in your life. He wasn't in your life back then because he was. Mm -hmm. He's guiding you to him, uh. right? It's not, it's not a straight path to get to him. It's a straight path once you got to him. Come on. Once he brought you, like I, I got that, that analogy that I love to bring, I love to say, is that all those times when Most High was guiding you, protecting you, preserving you, was to bring you to his door, was to bring you to Christ. Mm -hmm. Right Now, before you get into the house, Yasha got to teach you the rules okay. of the house. Because you didn't know the rules outside of his house. You lived in your own house, so you did your own thing. Or you lived in someone else's house and did what you did, what they commanded, what you commanded, what they commanded. 
to make it a balance. Where in the most highest house, there's no negotiation. It's his way or getting cast out. So now, if you're here right now, the most I have brought you to the door. That's what this class is for, for you to learn the house rules. So when you enter into the house, through baptism and all that and knowledge, all that stuff, you know how to function in the master's house. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, let's get it. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, and verse 6. Hmm? You read 6? First uh, John chapter 3, verse 6. Did you read chapter 2, verse 4 through 6? Con. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, the body in Christ, and Christ is by you, mean you're living by the Spirit. The Spirit is guiding you. Right? He's not saying that it's some psychological thing where he, you know, people say, the Spirit is guiding you. You're living in Him. He, he's in you. You're doing exactly what the Father said. Right? Mm-hmm. You're not doing your own thing. You're one with the Spirit. Okay? Verse 6 Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Say what? Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. So if you're obedient to Christ, you sin not. Right? See that? Mm-hmm. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. And that's the key. If we are here sinning, we don't know Christ, we don't fear him. We say we do, but we actually say that we don't. Because again, it says Christ is coming to destroy all the wicked. Mm-hmm. So you must not know him if you go, you're playing with your soul. And that's why we have to plug our ears to these false prophets. Because they teach us to sin. They teach us to sin. So read that scripture again. Verse 6. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not known him, hath not seen him, neither known him. Yeah. That's telling you right there that it's possible not to see him. Mm-hmm. It's possible. It's a commandment. For sin is, the way to sin is doubt. Mm-hmm. But people tell you that you can't do that. And that's a lie within itself. First John chapter 1, verse 5 through 6. What's sin, y'all? Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Whose laws? The most high. What kind of laws? Right. Right. Right? So that's what sin is. It's transgression of the law. It's like the brother told me on the phone. He said, well, the law is done away with. I said, well, if the law is done away with, there's no sin. How can it be sin if the law is done away with? What would, what would God judge you with? You know, make it make sense. Let's get it. The book of First John, chapter one, in verse five. And it reads And it reads, This then is the message which we have heard of him. And declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. So if you're in the spirit, right, you must walk in the light, be true to the light. You can't be in the darkness. Darkness is anything carnal, anything worldly, anything fleshly. That's what the darkness is. Darkness is of the father of darkness, Satan. You can't be with Most High and be with Satan at all. They have no companionship. Verse 6, if we say then we have fellowship with him. Let's stop there. What's fellowship? So we say, this is what I was saying earlier. Could everybody run into the guy, they, they personal thing going on with God? Right? What's fellowship? What does fellowship mean? You say you have fellowship with, with the Most High. What does that mean, sister? Walking in agreement. Walking in agreement, which is the next precept. Right? Walking in agreement. 
But let's get what that word mean in the Greek. I'm going to read uh, from a strong concordance. G, which stands for Greek, because you're reading in the Greek scriptures right now. So it's translated from 28, I got it, 42. I can't pronounce the word. <laughs> 28, 40, 42. What? I got it. Okay. Participation or social intercourse. Communicate. Communication. Right? Communion. Contribution. Distrib distribution. Fellowship. So, participation. So, if you're participating in Christ, right? You're communion with him. You're breaking bread with him. Hey. Hey, bro. Hey, sisters. Some more chairs. Yeah. There's two right here. Three right there. Okay. So again, if, if we're saying that we're participating with Christ, that must mean that we follow his orders. Mm -hmm. Right? He commanded us. He said, if you love me, you will do what I say. So if you do what I say, you participate with him. Either you participate with him or you participate against him. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. With the most high, it's just like like my brother like to say, it's cut and dry. You know? So let's keep going. Verse six. If we say then we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. We what? We lie. What's that say? We lie. So if we say that, again, I'm going to keep saying all night. If we say that, that we serve in the most high, if we walk not as Christ walked, we lie. Okay? Let's get it. And do not, and do not the truth. Do not the truth. The truth is a doctrine. Mm -hmm. The truth is exactly what Christ said from his father. That's the truth. Again, anything outside that is a lie. And we know who the father of the lie is. Let me take this mic. I'm tired of this being over. Oh, just to get scoot, you just scoot your way. Okay. Okay. You got any Bible, sister? Okay. 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 The only. Get that sword in your hand, girl. <laughs> And sirs, sirs, as I was telling his brother earlier today, don't feel, I don't know how, I don't know how fluent you are in the Bible. If you need time to find the scriptures, go to the first, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm pretending like you don't know nothing about the Bible. So don't get offended when I say this, okay? We're not going there today, bro. We ain't going there today. We're going back today. So for those who don't know, that's, that's the power, right? The Roman Catholic Church took that's 14 books that used to be in our so-called records. The Roman Catholic Church took it out. My Bible has it in there. Mm -hmm. So, that, yeah, we wish y'all was here two Mondays ago. We, we, on Mondays, we watched videos and stuff. We, we watched a video that broke down the Roman Catholic Church to show you it's strictly evil, satanic, and Babylonian. Mm -hmm. Right? So, they have taken our identity because, to those who don't know, the Jewish people controls all the Western world's religions. Right? And they've been controlling us with false religion since we got over here. So he took our records, right? But we have a, we have a lot of our records back. They don't have no authority to be on records saying what's canonical or not. He, he never gave them our records. 
These are our records, not theirs. He never gave no other nation of people these records. It's the Hebrew records, right? So, let's get it. The next precept will be the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 3. So I was saying, so if you need time, whoever needs time to find the scriptures, so be it. Right? Because the more we practice, the better we become. So it's not to feel embarrassed or anything like that. It was time when I could find scriptures. So to practice, I have to find a couple of them. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. This, this is going to back up what the sisters said about participation, fellowship. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and just to add to what I just said, I'm glad we went here, right? Because I just made a, a statement, right? I said, he, he gave no other people our records, right? Let's start from one. Come on. And this is what's wrong with our people. The, 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 the most high said his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge of him. Right? So we go to church, we lack of knowledge of him. He said there's no truth in the land. Right? Because our, our leaders have been deceiving us. Our leaders have been going to these colleges, which is not even in the... If, if you read the scriptures, all these colleges that they go into today is nothing different than what they went to back in the day. The most high has never used them people. To teach his people. So the leaders of these schools and colleges and these churches are not for us, according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Okay, he said that they had taken over the body, taken over the possession of the house of God. So they're controlling the houses of God, feeding us false doctrine to keep us up in sin. They can keep rulership over you God's people. Okay? And that's why he promises the last days, it's in the spirit in the world to revive his people. Just teach the truth to his people. Because we've been lied to for so long. So I'm thankful for that. I hope you all are too. So let's start from one. <clears throat> because you hear all the time that you know, it's equality stuff. I'm not saying that nobody can make it to the kingdom of uh, Israel. Because that's not true. But like I said, the most high is order. Right? It says to the Jew first and then the Gentile. So it, if it, was, it can't be What's the next teaching was first? He said he gave the 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 the, the, uh, the service of God to the Israelites, right? So those people have the authority to teach us about our God. Even though we go to churches, and our people. This is what I'm trying to get across. We go to these churches and see our people teaching us, but their doctrine, the, the fundamental thing they're teaching, don't come from the Most High. It come from the Romans. And they didn't hide their identity. They said the Roman Catholic Church. Read the Bible who the Romans are. Same people that crucified our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. So how can they be on our side today? So if we in Christ, that means they hate us too. He promised us that they would hate us. They would kill us. They would put us in prisons for his name's sake. Same people. They call the Edomites. Right? Same people, not every white person you see on the, on the street, but the rulers to be, them people. The Bible calls the synagogue and Satan. Okay? So it's time for us to get brainwashed the right way. We was brainwashed the other way. So that's what this class is for, to wash our brains of the filth that was put in there. Okay? So let's get it. The book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. Hear this word that the Most High hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. Oh, who? O children of Israel. So again, this Bible is not talking to the whole world. Who is he talking to? The children of Israel. You find me in the scriptures where he's talking to the whole world. And I'll be waiting for you. I'm not saying that this word is not to, it cannot go to the whole world. Christ gave us the commission. To spread this gospel to all nations after he was resurrected. He told us to spread the word. Not them. Right? Go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Get it? I can, we can go precept on precept about this one. All day, y'all want to change the topic. 
We don't do that, but I'm serious. You only have our what? Known of all the families of the earth. So you are my chosen people. Therefore, I will what? Therefore. Wait, wait, wait. Because he gave us his law set of commandments. The doctrine of life. That's what the law is. It's the doctrine of life. It's the manual of how you must live to please the most high. Because he taught us how to behave. And we didn't. What did he say? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All your sins. Is that not evident today? Mm -hmm. I was telling a brother this morning on the phone what the Most High said. He said, because of that right there, all our sins, he would give us the back and not the face. Outside these streets, you're, you're, you're looking at a guy that turns his back on us. Why? Because we turn our back on him. So we get what we put out there. But today, he said, if you turn back, he will give you the face and not the back. Today, he's giving those who are beating his face, not the back. All those who don't know, who want to listen, the back is what you get. I mean, when you speak to him, he don't hear you. You're crying out to him, so you laugh at your calamity. So, let's get it. Verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So you can't walk with the most high unless you're in agreement with the most high. Because mm -hmm. if he's guiding you, you say, well, I'm going to do this. You're going to go that way. You're not going to go straight. You cannot walk according to your own understanding at all. Like, you know, like the uh, book said, it was not granted to man to even to direct his own steps. He didn't make us to... to, to He's fine, sister. My son gonna be a lot of him in three minutes, trust me. <laughs> For real. Yeah. But um, and that's just what it is, y'all. Let's get it. First John chapter five, verse ten. Yeah. First John chapter five, verse ten. This will be second John. Let's see. Second John. Come on, second John. Five, ten. Second John chapter five, verse ten. First ten. My apologies. I said first John at first. We're going to break down what, what it means also, like you're about to say, believing on the Son of God, right? Because in church they tell us, you believe in the name of Jesus, right? We're going to break it down, what it really means. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I turned. I thought I flipped two pages out. Deep in Revelation, I'm like, where are I? I'm like, where are I? Listen, y'all know I'm a little slow. So. <laughs> Bear with me. Work with me. Work with me. Right. Right. <laughs> First John chapter five, in verse ten. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth in the Son of God. What does that mean? What do you got believe in Christ? I mean, we got to break it down because we can't just read this on a surface level. I feel like the word Wait, wait, wait. Two people talking at the same time. Y'all raise your hand, please. Sister, so speaking first. I feel like the world teaches us that if we just believe in, well, what they say is you believe um, in Jesus and that he died for your sins, but that is, is 
now that I know it's more than that, it's not just believing that Yasha came and died, but it's being in agreement with him and uh, following his will and his way. Huh. That's a great part of it. That's very true. Thank you, sister. He must say. Speak up, if you believe in Yahshua, Yahshua, you also believe in the Father. They're one. But what do you have to believe? That's what I'm saying. See, that's what that's our people's problem. That's our people's problem. We don't never ask why. We just hear something and we ride with it. But why? What are you believing in? And that and that gives you life. No, no, sorry, sorry. Let's let's break it down, sister. Okay. Let's make this make sense to ourselves. This is what the Most High wants us to do. Use the understanding he's given us. Use our head. All right? It would not be true what the Most High said if all we had to do is believe that Christ is his son and he died for us and God created him in us. Because Christ would be lying if he said that narrow and straight is the path leading up to eternal life. And through our finding. But broad and spacious is the road leading up to death. And many are finding. That many believe that Christ is the Son of God and that there is a God. So that can't make sense. It has to be more. Right? Um, no. no, he was first no. and then she was left. I don't know the example of uh, Abraham said he believed the most high knows the content of the tomb of righteousness, but what he believed was the word of the high that was spoken to him, and he actually acted on it by um, being obedient to what he said. He said I'm not allowed to feed this land or whatnot. And he told him to take his family, go to this land. Abraham got up and believed. And so that was an action on the belief that he said that he had. You know, it wasn't just a mental thing like, okay, I believe this certain thing in my mind, but he actually acted on the word of the Most High. So basically, like the scripture says, he believed that the word the Most High spoke to him, he was able to perform. Right? Thank you, brother. Sister. It's deeper though, right? Believe on the Son of God. Right? He's the one. And we're going to get to the scriptures in a minute. So I'm going I'm to say this, and then the priest is going to say this, okay? He's the one that the Most High has given authority of all things, the heavens and the earth. Everything must go through him. Right? And that's why the scriptures brought up earlier that um, you, you, you neither see him or know him. I say because you knew him, you understand that that's the one that every knee should bow to. Mm -hmm. So if you knew him, you get your life in harmony with him. Because when he comes, the father says, hey, he would not remorse for the walk to that would be destroyed. So that angel would not pardon your error. He, he won't be the, the, the merciful son of God he was when he came in the first time. The order is to clean the earth and the heavens of wickedness and sin. He's, he's the one the most high given authority to. You can't go no other way <laughs> but through him. Okay? Let's get Revelations chapter 12, verse 17. Okay, give me. Salaki family, I'm going to finish the uh, scripture. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. Have a witness in himself. So like I was saying, if you believe that this is that he is he, your testimony, your lifestyle will reflect your knowledge. That's what I was going to say, that your spirit has to bear witness. Mm -hmm. The scripture is going to say that too. Thank you, sister. You're a point there, girl. You read a little bit. <laughs> but your life will reflect a difference between how you used to be. You won't do the things your friends that you used to be around do. You will be what the most high call holy. You'll be separate than those who are who are of the world. You won't think, act, function as you used to do. Remember? You must be a new creature. That new creature would be a testimony within itself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. What's the record that God gave of his son? The whole book, all the records 
Christ says, for lo, I have come in the volume of the book. It's written of me. This whole Bible talks about Christ from the beginning to the end. Those say the Old Testament, this and that, they don't know the, they don't know the Bible. Right now, I, I, can, I can do a whole lesson on the gospel in the Old Testament because that's where the gospel came from. The Old Testament is the gospel. It's Christ trying to bring his people back to his father. His disciples using the Old Testament to bring his it's true to back to the Father. That's the gospel. It's the good news of the kingdom. Come. The good news of the kingdom, that's found in the Old Testament. The covenants, the promises to God show the people is in the Old Testament. So how can that be done away with? Christ said, I come not to destroy the law and the prophets. That's the Bible. It's written of him. How can he destroy himself? He's the king of that kingdom that's promised to these people. Come. He's the king of the kingdom that's promised to God's children. So again, they they mind trick us. They say we will die and go to heaven when the kingdom is right here. Mm -hmm. This world is about to pass away, about to get destroyed. The next ruler of this world will be Christ. Huh. Right here on earth, you will see him if you make it. So you're going to see him either way. <laughs> Put it that way. You're going to see him regardless. Right? So they have told, they have lied to the kings and the queens of the earth to a point where we don't desire what's ours. They tell us, get out of that book, don't read the Old Testament. When that's your promises, the covenant, the agreement, the contract, the most high made with you. Is that satanic that it is? That's satanic. So who's behind it? Right? People think we, we, we can live a worthy life and, and say, I'm sorry, and you go to heaven. Where's that in the Bible? Get it? Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. It's, it's the lateral, it's, I keep saying lateral. Y'all gonna tease me in a minute. It's the latter part of the scripture I want to focus on, but we're gonna read the whole scripture though, okay? Caught myself that time. Hey, get up from the table, little boy. What I tell you? Yeah? Okay. Thank you for coming. Hey, it's my box, sister. No, uh, tomorrow. So you can walk out. Well, you don't sit down and put your cookies up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. how long cookies every week ain't gain a pound? <laughs> I tell you. My wife said I got to take one. You got some? A couple of them. Yeah. You got one. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow's week. Tomorrow's week. Tomorrow's week. Uh oh. Yeah, speed is less enough, y'all. Let me hear it now. Oh, man. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. What's up, sis? It's good to see your face. Huh? You see? How you feeling? Better? Thanks for coming. It's a spiritual healing, girl. The water. It's snowing now? They said, well, Marcy's going to have an inch or something. She said, I told you, that's that old face snow. It ain't going to stick. <laughs> All the chemicals in the air, that's no different than it used to be. That thing going to stick to whatever. Yeah. Yeah, Let's get it. What <clears throat> we at? Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, and verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. So the dragon was wroth with Israel. If that woman is Israel. If anyone want uh, me to prove that, at the class, I, I would love to preach that. But that woman is Israel. Go ahead, sister. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So throughout, um, when you say the woman is Israel, is that throughout Revelation? Because mm -mm. um, it talks about a couple women. Okay. Because uh, like the Roman Catholic Church, she's right. scared. Yeah, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's the woman from Genesis chapter three fifteen, where it says that that 
uh, I've been in enmity between thy seed and the woman's seed. So Satan's children and Israel. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it racism. But it's the it's the hatred between the, those seeds. Okay. But the true seed, yeah. But that true seed, the scripture is going to say what it is. Even though Israel is a woman, it's going to break it down. What's come from that woman, though? Let's go. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. So and set angry with the woman. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. He's the remnant of her seed, right? Because many of that woman will be destroyed. But it's the remnant that does what? Which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Yasha. So they keep the commandments. So this is the remnant who will be saved. That keep the, the commandments and have the testimony of Yasha, right? What's the testimony? Let's get it. Uh, it's G thirty one forty one. That's in the Strong Concordance, G thirty one forty one. Right? It reads evidence. That's the testimony of Yasha. Right? They kept the commandments. They have the evidence within themselves. When the Most High looks at them, it's evident that they believe on Him. They're obedient through all trials and tribulations. They never waver. They're evidence within themselves. Plus, they have the evidence. The spirit is very wicked, wicked with their spirit. Right? In truth. It goes farther. Record, report, testimony, witness. Right? As, as, as most... Will you hear what I said? You hear what I said? Don't let that distract you, mama. Let's stay focused. The witness. The Most High said, we are his witnesses. Right? So we are his witnesses. We are the one that he'll be glorified in. Right? Yeah. That remnant of the witness that it was possible to overcome the devil. That's the witness that nobody on earth can say that the Most High is not fair in his judgment. You have witnesses before you that did it. See, see, the, see how that contradicts what the world teaches? You're a witness in yourself. Same book, 19, verse 10. So, my brother, Nelson, I want you to take heed of something that this angel is going to say, okay? Because you've been here many times when I talk to you about our kingdom, right? Listen to what the most high servants say, okay? Let's get it. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. Stop. This is an angel talking to John. Mm -hmm. See, you don't, you don't disrespect the Most High and worship me. Mm -hmm. I am your what? Your fellow, thy fellow servant. See, angel is, their role is to minister to God's people. Mm -hmm. He's a servant of the Most High. So being a servant is such a bad thing. You get what I'm trying to say? See how the world teaches us what a servant is? According to uh, which is contrary to what the most high said is. Mm -hmm. This is an angel, someone who's greater than, than, than this man. He said, I'm your servant. Mm -hmm. Christ says, the greatest among you should be the, the servant. Mm -hmm. Is an angel greater than John? See the humility in that? Let's get it. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yasha. See, they have the testimony of Yasha. They died for this. They was on the run every day for the gospel's sake. Mm -hmm. They have the testimony to the Most High. Remember, Enoch gave a testimony before he left there. 
They please the Most High. Right? Their lives is a testimony. Okay? Go ahead. Worship God, for the testimony of Yasha is the spirit of prophecy. It's the spirit of prophecy. I was speaking earlier about prophecy. He said he put a spirit in the, in the earth. He have his people, right? That's what I said, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it takes this power of God to make it happen in a wicked world. It's the power of the spirit, right? That's why we talked a couple of days, a couple of classes ago about this Bible. <coughs> well, when's the class? Come. And what the Bible has gone through, how the Most High has made sure that his records were preserved in the earth for his children. Mm -hmm. It's the power of the spirit that made that so. I was just, um, I was just saying, um, I had had um, before I came here, and it's just funny how things work. Um, before I came here, I was actually having um, an actual like, argument with um, someone who they believe we're the true Hebrews, right? But they don't believe in Yahshua. They don't believe Yahshua was the savior. They believe like. The Savior is going to rise out of America. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> He's the witness. He wasn't a dead witness in the street. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. And, um, and I was actually having an argument on the scripture because they were saying what she was trying to say was this was Yasha speaking, and, and Yasha was saying, don't worship me. What? Yeah, yeah. And it was funny though because this was literally a week before the first time I came um, to you guys. Right, and so, and that's why I say it's funny how Satan works because that I literally told my mom and my sister, I said, they talking crazy, we're walking out, I don't care. Like, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm like, I, know, like, I may not know the name of the son, but I know the son exists, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I know. And mm -hmm. so, if they're talking crazy, like we're leaving, and and so, um, I just think it's funny though how uh, Satan works to try to um turn you away from yeah. the truth. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna read this right here. Out of John 5 23. I'm sorry, 22. The Father judges no one. When I said that authority that Christ was given. But have committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the, the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honors not the Son, honors not the Father, which he has sent. Mm. Precept on precept, my sister. Come. <laughs> and that was the problem I was having with him, because um, I was taking in the scriptures where it's clearly stating that Yahshua came and who Yahshua was, and Instead of explaining, because I'm, I'm, I'm asking, like, okay, so what is this meaning to you? Because I know what it means to me, but what is this meaning to you? And instead of explaining uh, what it what it meant um, in regards to Yasha, they would take me around, like, <laughs> the whole block and take mm -hmm. me to something totally different that had nothing to do with what I was asking. So I'm like, there's no way this can be the truth. Mm -hmm. And so I was really, like, I was really, um, I was tempted not to come at all because of that experience that I had. And I was, it was actually like a telephone conference and I was, it was like five people, mm. you know, on like me, my mom and my sister. And um, we were just like, you know, we're done because we, we know that the sun exists. Like mm. we know from experience that the sun exists. You're not going to tell me that. Mm -hmm. Right. And so that's why I like, that's why I say this all praises to, to, to the most high because um, I almost, I almost didn't come because all of that. All praise to the power of his spirit. Yeah. But what that scripture is really talking about is the first commandment, my sister. Check it out. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. And God spake all these things, all these words are saying, I a higher, I am a higher thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's the first commandment. If you worship that angel, you put that angel before the most high. You're breaking the first commandment. That's why I said don't break the commandment. Worship God. Mm. See what I'm saying? Now, worship means reverence or respect. You know what I'm saying? All honor and praise and glory goes to the most high. We have to respect and reverence our big brother for what he did for us. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. We don't we we don't worship Yasha. Right. We respect him, we reverence right. him. Right. That's why we pray to a higher Baha Shem Yashaka. So Baha Shem means in the name of the Son in Hebrew. So we pray to the Father through the Son. We don't pray to the Son ever. Okay. So you know, yeah. I've been lying too much. I've been lying. I get stuck in there, girl. Sounds to me. I've been lying to my whole life. Speak it. What you want to say? Yeah. Be brainwashed. <laughs> yeah. But even Christ would tell you, I can do nothing of my own. This too. But the things the Father showed me, the things the Father told me to do. Mm he -hmm. says, Our Father, who art in heaven. We say, The Father, Son, who art in heaven. The first thing he said is, Pray this way. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. I mean, his name is hallowed, it's holy, it's separate from these other guys. We have to distinguish who we're praying to. Because there's many guys, like we said earlier, we prayed to a higher because that's the name he gave Moses. We're not praying to the names that men gave us, Jehovah. Right. I served Jehovah all my life. It's the same God our fathers failed to, Baal. Satan. Okay? So, Never in the Bible will you find anyone telling you the disciples never prayed to Christ. They, he's our intercessor. Mm -hmm. What's an intercessor? Someone that's between. Yeah, someone that goes for you before the Bible. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, let's get it. Revelation 19 10. Oh, we get that? Let's go to Romans 8 16. This is what Sister Levi was bringing up. You know, I want to say this, right? I remember I had a phone conversation about a month ago, a month and a half ago. A brother I used to work with back in the day, just he'd been enlightened to who we are. And um, he texted me and I called him. And they're doing their own little thing with this. Israelite stuff, you know. And he was telling me that uh, the Most High, I don't know what he, what he called him, but he believed in Jesus too. But the Most High, I can't tell him because the Most High gives him the ability to be before people and can tell them what they did up in the past. No, for real. For real. Right? So I can't tell him that guy ain't dealing with him. Mm. I said, my brother, no offense, but you sound like those people that Christ said, many would come to me saying, Lord, Lord, have I not done these proper works in your name? That's how you sound to me. So yeah, there's a spirit bearing record to your spirit, but it's not the most high. So when I sat before y'all many days and said, I know who I am. I know what the most high does in my life. Did I say anything <laughs> strange like that? The things that I said in concerning him, the truth of him and us, his will. Never was no stuff that could be considered as a sign, like, you know what I'm saying? He give me ability to see the future, whatever. Never said that. Right? When you dealing with the most high, you are knowing. Your, your spirit will bear record. It's hard to explain. It's not one of those funny feeling things you're going to jump around and dance. Go ahead, sister. I do have a question about that because there's so many people out there claiming to be prophets, and they'll say, even other people will tell me, oh, yeah, the prophet told me about my life. And I'm like, yeah. so, okay, the prophet gave me this gift, right? <coughs> Thanks, Jesus. Oh, well, no. This gift is, he had it in his gift. Thank you, Elijah. Can, <laughs> how can this gift? That he has. It's really not a gift. Right? The demon's been here forever. 
They seen what we did yesterday, day before, day before, uh-huh. last week, last year. They just telling you what they saw. That's not a gift. Right. For us, it's a gift. We can't do that. They, they right here, right now, looking at us. Mm-hmm. Everything you do, the most high angels are watching you. The same angels are watching you. So they, they trick you with these powers. Mm-hmm. The Bible says through these powers that Satan give these people, he deceived them. Huh. So you think it's special because the, the most high gave me this gift because I know what you were thinking yesterday. No, that demon knew what you were thinking yesterday and told you. And I just yeah. wanted to add, and that, and that is seen throughout the scriptures, that's divination. And the most I said amongst Israel, we must not do that. That's mm-hmm. a great abomination. Yep. Um, yeah, I just saw a video, one of the brothers sent it to me, where a guy went into a church and the pastor was prophes- so-called prophesying. He was divinating. He was like, what does this number mean to you, 5252? Does it mean something in your life? God is giving me something. And the dude was like, that's not in the scripture, sir. He was like, you're, you're, you're uh, under the spirit of divination. I rebuke you. And then he kicked the guy out the church because he wasn't trying to accept the so-called prophecy. He's like, he's, you know, so. Uh, I come from that background. Man. <laughs> Cats like that. You know, the whole charismatic movement, that's all that's about. You got mm-hmm. prophets and people coming and speaking to your life. And sometimes they will tell you some stuff. Like from mm-hmm. the past, you like, man, they blow your mind. But they'll tell you some other things that have nothing to do with anything. You so many lies. But mm-hmm. what Satan would do is he would trick you off of that one little thing that they said that was accurate. Mm-hmm. And after all them other lies, you kind of just. You completely rap you kind of track, you are trapped in. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? And that's it's actually like I said, it's divination. And also them operate with familiar spirit. Con. Because they not tell they they tell some truth. Just like that tree of good and evil. Con. It's so good, but there's a whole lot of evil in it. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what they be doing. They're operating in that false spirit and it just have you all wrapped up in it because they lie. You did this last night, they like, yeah, man, I did. Man, you <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah, and then they tell you something yeah. happened next week, but it'll never happen. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Phil, I'm saying he's going to church. Um, we always heard the pastor say, well, I know it's just a that man alone, but when you think about it, ain't nothing new under the sun. Yeah. So uh, he kind of takes experiences of the area you're in and say something that probably everybody doesn't mm-hmm. Everybody who's connected, you have got a couple kids and I'm not married, so they are <laughs> figure out oh, you know, I'm like, I know from the wait, 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 wait. God died. This was scary. I know I've seen this particular pastor say this to a few people, and these people died. Mm-hmm. The way he said it was going to die, but then break it down. They weren't living the best life, they were doing mm-hmm. things that put them more so in harm way. So it don't take a rocket scientist to see that. Maybe if you keep living this way, the likelihood of you dying in this way would be great. But we felt like, oh, he prophesied to this guy, and this guy went out and said, you leave the church again. He told this young man, "You, uh, the next time you come to this church, we can bury you. And, and that's what happened to this guy. So it was like, wow. Yeah. Satan kill a lot of people any day. Let's get it, sister. Uh, not, I don't do any of that stuff. But I have, when I was a kid, and, and this is something I'm just putting out there. Uh-oh. When I was, you know, born, my grandmother was like, oh, she was born with a veil on her face. And oh, I did yeah. something that was like, yeah, 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 born with a veil. Well, I would dream at times, even sometimes now, but I would have a dream about something a certain way it feels. And it happens. And I'm like, ooh. So if it's about people, whomever, I'll say, you know what? I had a dream about you. And I'll tell them. Now, I'm not saying I'm prophesying. But seriously, I have a dream, and it feels a certain way, and I'll tell them, is they are right on it. And I'm like, but I don't want to be considered one of those people that's dealing with divination, so what is that? Because ever since I was a kid, so how do you decipher that? Satan said he'd be like the most high. Mm. Right? As he's seen his father do, he does. Mm-hmm. Simple. So just... Leave it alone, my sister. If, if, if it ain't in harmony with prophecy, leave it alone. You know what I'm it ain't about what you do in your particular daily life. Just have a certain prophecy. Mm. Prophecy. Other than that, leave it alone. That's just. I was just going to say, uh, like you said uh, just a little while ago, there's demons all around us at all times. And it's been times where I've had, uh, well, I can't say dreams, nightmares where uh, Satan. 
or demons have used something that's happened or a conversation um, in like just my everyday life. It's not nothing big, but they they incorporated it. And, and I know that it's something not from this ground, right? Mm -hmm. So I know it's demonic. And like from what she was saying, like that's something that my, my family, you know, generations back have dealt with, right? The veil over your head. And even as a kid, like, um, as a kid, like, my mom tells me stories where, you know, um, she she knew that I was probably seeing demons and demonic spirits and that type of thing. But the thing is, is usually when you have those things, because I've had things where um, I've had a dream about someone, but usually it's uneasy. Like, you don't want to tell anybody anything wrong, right? That's just, like, that's the spirit telling you, like, and so it, 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 there's an uneasy feeling. And so I try to listen to that uneasy feeling that I'm getting. Right, um, it's going to feel right if it's coming from the most high. Okay. Check it out. It, yeah, it feel right when Satan does too. Do it too, man. Mm -hmm. Be I, careful. Be careful. I feel like, I feel like, like hey, come as an angel of light. That's what the most high said. Come right. as an angel of light. Yes, or something. I'm, I'm going to read this out of Jeremiah 14. I'm going to start at verse 10. Thus says the high unto this people, thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore, Hayab do not accept them. He would now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. Then said the Hayab unto me, Pray not for this people for, for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cries. And when they offer burnt offerings and oblations, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Then said I, Ah, the Hayab, behold, the prophets say unto them, ye should not see the sword. The prophets say unto them, ye should not see the sword. Jeremiah and all the prophets told these people, if you don't turn back, the most high come with the sword. So now you have pastors speaking up against the prophets. Right? The most high is warning his people. Today, the most high is warning his people. What are these prophets saying? Prosperity, 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 peace, peace. Same thing, mm. right? He goes, Father, get him up. Okay. It, and it says, The prophets say unto them, Ye should not see the sword, neither should ye have famine. But I will give you a sure peace in this place. Mm. See, the, see, the doctrine is the same. Right? If you do this, you know, if you do it for the Lord, the Lord is going to do this, the Lord is going to do that. When the Most High says destruction is coming, our people as, is at war right now, and they're teaching peace. Hmm. No one in the streets knows what's coming. I just watched a clip of Donald Trump, right? They they all got together to the picture. Trump said, he said, hey, the other one, this represents, the media said, no, what it represents? The calm before the storm. <laughs> right? They said, well, what story? He said, you see. You see. So that means somebody prepared to attack you, kill you. Look at our people. Because the, the pastors have lied to us. We're not even prepared for what's coming. We are oblivious to it. We into TV and football and basketball games and our children's lives. When your soul, your life is at stake right now. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's about to go down. These armor tanks and these Walmarts and these, and these deserts and these, and these, these, they got fields. No, nah, they got fields, y'all. Filled with armor tanks, coffins, weaponry, everything. They have drills that come against us. Mm -hmm. And all our brothers and sisters talk about is what's going on in the hoods. Who doing who and who 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 this and who that. Next time, the next whatever you'll call it. Hold on, sis. Because this I'm, I'm real passionate about this right here. But it hurts my heart. The Bible says. My eyes get worried, y'all mean this. I ain't lying. It just hurts me. No man that war, no man that is a soldier will go to war, entangle himself with the affairs of this life. 
Mm. Right now, the most high is telling us, do not be of this world. Gird yourself up spiritually. Learn who I am. Trust in me. Your fight is spiritual. It didn't come at you physical, but Christ reassured, reassured us. Fear not he that can destroy the body and not the soul. Fear he that can destroy the body and the soul and cast it in hell. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're fearing the one that can only destroy the body. Don't even know the one that can destroy the body and the soul and cast it in hell. Mm -hmm. It says, that he may please him that have chosen him to be a soldier. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we must be soldiers in Christ. Okay. He didn't say be a, a midwife or, or, or whatever you would call it, but we got to fight, all of us. Y'all ain't got no, y'all ain't getting no breaks. Sisters, it's coming. It's coming. So that's why I say it's a satanic doctor, my sister. That's why he lied to you. It's been the plan all the time. Mm -hmm. They're coming. This, look, you know what we're going to do? Monday class, we're going to watch um, King Act of Plan. That's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. To show y'all the legal legislation that they have passed for the last four years to destroy us with the military. It's what the most high gave my wife to bring me into the truth with. Let's watch it Monday, y'all. All of us. They have it all the way down to the last minute. They know exactly how we're gonna respond because they do drills and see how, how we react. In the last hour, the president is gonna get up there and that, and that siren on your TV gonna go off because this time with his voice. He will say, stand down or die. No more compassion. No more lying to give y'all hope or change. Stand down and die. At that moment, y'all, I'm telling you, you'd better be in Christ. Because you're gonna you're gonna die spiritually if you don't love him more than you love yourself. You're gonna compromise, you're gonna take this chill, you're gonna do what they say, not what the most high say. Like I told y'all Wednesday, whenever it was. We're going to, those in Christ will lose absolutely everything. You will have nothing. And Satan will be digging his little trickers in your face. You take this, you can pay your mortgage. You take this, you can pay your car bill. Most I said, you take that, I destroy your soul. Mm -hmm. Is that real, y'all? Is that real? I'm sorry, so I, 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 that's, that's, that's one of my people I'm touching. It hurts me. It's coming. So please, y'all, who can come Monday, 6 o'clock, let's watch it so you can see for yourself. And, and our people's favorite president, is, he was never your president. Mm -hmm. He had a lot to do. He signed more of these executive orders than anybody. Mm -hmm. It's the same orders that Hitler had. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <coughs> these white people been getting the memos. They've been by heavy bullet guns, <laughs> they know what's going down. So you see people on the TV show, they know what it is. You didn't get the demo. They got it. They know who they're about to come against. And they changed the whole military structure because many people in the military has quit. Because they know what it is. So they, they replaced them with these Russians, mm. these foreigners. And they put our military way overseas somewhere. So when they come, they won't be your own people. And then they're going to take those who are our people weapons from them, and lock them up and kill them too. They're going to use them until they're done with them, and they're going to lock them up and kill them too. It's all in, in their law. So come Monday, y'all, if, 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 if we most have will. What's up, sis? I have a question. So, when you're back in that world, we're going to discuss this. Um, so, when you're talking as far as, like, modern-day prophets, do they not exist? Or, like, how do you identify them? You're looking at it for the modern-day prophets. And I ain't told you nothing but what Most High said to me. That's what a prophet is for the Most High. The Most High is not. Let me let me keep going. When I say I'm my name prophet, I mean I'm a servant for the Most High. The prophecy I'm giving you, I'm reading it to you. That's what this prophecy is. He ain't giving me no special visions or nothing like that to tell you that it's all in the book already. You need nothing else. As it says, it's right here. Same book, Second Timothy chapter three, verse. Uh, 
17, so I'm reading from 16. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. What else do you need? It's right here. Like Christ told um, um, Lazarus about, not Lazarus, but the rich man. You, have, you got Moses and the prophets. Well, what else do you need? You got Moses and the prophets. Now we got the New Testament too. What else do you need? Because if one comes from the dead, they're not going to believe anyway. So if I say he gave me a special vision to tell you, you're not going to believe me anyway. He did that. His book is complete now. There's no need for no special vision, nothing like that. It's all right here. So you'll be thoroughly furnished for every good work. That's what it was written for. As examples, he, he allowed all stuff to happen so we can read and learn from our four parents. And don't do as they did, but do as the righteous one did. So, yeah, my sister, I'm this pastor. I'm this prophet. But all I can do to you is read out his book. And that's power within itself, because the spirit bear record to give me information concerning breaking down the scriptures. He makes all things clear through his Holy Spirit. But ain't no ain't nothing that going on. All that's going on, it's a need for Satan to have that. Because Satan don't have the truth. Remember, the truth will set you free. Sister, right now you're learning the truth is in the same free of you starting to understand what you've been in bondage by. Lies that led you to a sinful life. So Satan got to use all kind of things to trap and snare our people. Without that, he has no power. I got a cousin that's one of the main pastors around here. He told me a couple years ago that he could speak in tongues. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I can't tell him nothing. And no, he don't know the Bible. He do too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, but because Satan making him feel some kind of way. That's the snare. Well, I don't need to do that right now. Even Paul said those things will pass away. They'll pass away. They, that was that fulfilled the, 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 the prophecy in Joel. We said, My spirit will be poured out on his people. They were speaking this, they would do these, they would do great. That was done in the apostles' time. Mm -hmm. It had to that. Christ was the foundation. Peter was the foundation. And on that, he had to build that church. So it took all those things to build it and for this to get fulfilled, be complete. Mm -hmm. Now we don't need all that now. Ain't nobody resurrecting nobody, healing nobody, uncle. Nobody say you're not. You're not. It's 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 here. If you believe him or you don't. Okay. So so I had a hand up. Do you, sis, you had a hand up. Sure. What's up? Wait. Uh, no, but what about like my sister? She had got shot, and she flatlined. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, she didn't die at the time. But anyway, she said she seen her whole past from the time she was a child until the time you know happened. And she said she seen a bright light and everything, and that it says not your time, go back. And you know, I guess she came, she woke up. You know, you know, the doctor said she was gone. Mm -hmm. But you know, she um, when she came to and everything, we went to the hospital three times. She said she had seen all that, and you know, some it was a bright light. The bright light told her it's not your time. Mm -hmm. You know, go go back. So many people have that same problem. That's in harmony with what the Most High says. Mm -hmm. He said the first thing you would do is adorn that light. Mm -hmm. but he says no one dies without him. He's deceptive order. He he gives a deceptive decree. A, a, a decisive, decisive decree, a decisive. decisive decree when each person dies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's not no one telling you the future or no, some stuff. Just, yeah. Just her, yeah. Uh, you know, kind of what happened to her. Mm -hmm. but, you know, I, I can't speak from that. <coughs> now you gonna play with it. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking back off what you were saying about the prophets. Uh, think about Hebrews when he said he spoke. To his prophets in that time, but in these last days, he's spoken to us through his son, mm -hmm. Christ, you know, mm -hmm. so he's showing us that. Through his son. Yeah. Bible. Bible and a book. Yeah. So now he's speaking to us 
to what Christ has established after all the what the prophets had prophesied about the coming. He came, he, came. he established it, and now in these times, he's speaking to us through Christ. And when Christ is um, sent forth, this apostle will be mm -hmm. in the Them prophets out here prophesying. That's exactly what I'm Prophesying. Prophesying. Let's get it quick. I like that. Well, I'm, I'm going to finish reading this in Jeremiah, right? Verse 13. The middle part says, Neither shall ye have famine. Oh, I read that. Verse 14. Then the highest said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. The prophets mm -hmm. prophesy lies in my name. Okay? This most high tell you the truth. Okay? I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them. Neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision mm -hmm. and divination. Uh, and a thing of not, and the deceit of their hearts. Therefore, thus says the higher concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and sent, and I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine should not be in this land, but sword and famine should thus those prophets be consumed. They'll get a double. All these churches, these men, they little suit song, they little Jesus peace in their chest. Gonna get a double. And the people to whom they prophesy should be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, and they should have none to bury them. Them, let me, let me tell you about how these people be lying on the most high. They say he don't kill. Check the most high out. All those that want to follow these, these hired men, check it out. They should have none to bury them. Them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters. For I will pour out, I will pour out their wickedness up on them. Case closed on that one. Get back to the lesson. Where we at? Hebrews right. chapter ten, verse seven. No, to the Romans. Oh, oh, Romans chapter. Okay. So like it. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 reads The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Okay? So, many people will be deceived by different spirits. But those who are really in Christ will know. Um, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7 because the brother said that he said that he speaks to his people through his son, right? This scripture about to read comes out of the Old Testament. Okay? They're quoting the priest of the Psalms. So for anybody to tell you that this, this whole book is not uh, is out of date or don't read the Old Testament, listen to what Christ said. Hebrews, slot you. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 7. And it reads, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. You come in the what? The volume of the book. Christ is in the volume of the book. He's in the whole thing. It's written about him. Right? So that's how he's speaking to us through the volume of the book. Let's go to Revelation chapter 1, verse 2. It is through that volume we must examine ourselves. Where 
Found in Prince City on his way up here. Okay. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 2. Who bear record of the word Talk of about John the Baptist, not I mean John the Revelator. So. Who bear record of the word of God. So John bear record of the word of God. Right? John was such a, a, a soldier for the most high. That's what they did to him. Show you how the truth will always be against the world. No, that's John the Baptist. John the Revelator is different than John the Baptist. Right? So when you change your life and start really serving Christ, living your life for the most high, right? The world will hate you according to Christ's words. All John did was teach the truth. They put him in prison. Guess what he did? He made disciples. Mm. Right? Now it is him and them. A bunch of them talk about this Yasha, right? So he was a problem. When truthfully, these prisoners would have got out and been better to society. Come. They changed their life in prison for real. Not like you, nah, you go and kill a Muslim, you come back. True rehabilitation. Yeah, true <laughs> rehabilitation. Thank you, brother. Come. Right? They've been good for society so far, right? They ain't bought nobody, living with Christ, you know, spread his word. They don't like that. Right? So he was he was convinced and persuaded so many people through the spirit of the most high. They took him out of prison. They put him on an island. Oh. Pamos. <laughs> that was hell. And they put him in exile, way over in the iceberg. Like, that's, that's enough. He, he influenced the 20 of our people. Hmm. So, you see why Christianity is fake? Because all the true uh, servants of the Most High, the world has always hated them. Mm -hmm. Right? Right now, sister, if you really change your life, all your friends are going to leave you. You may have one, and I pray that, that you do. But you have nothing in common with them. You're not judging them or nothing. You just, you just woke up and said, whoa, I was going to hell. You know what I'm saying? I can't do these things no more. And they're going to say, girl, what's wrong with you? Girl, all you do is bless the name of Jesus and this blood wash your sins. You me? My pastor said, you know, no. Nah. You're gonna the most high gonna separate you. He done it to a lot of us in the room already. It hurts for a minute, but then you come to appreciate it and you, you be thankful for what Christ told us. Be thankful mm -hmm. that your eyes see and your ears hear. And you praise and you honor and you get all the glory to the most high for saving your souls from mercy on y'all. Mm -hmm. Give me my sister. What's that? <coughs> Because they're, oh yeah, that's first be crazy. We all been crazy in here, mm -hmm. but it will go down. So, but Christians have no problem with nobody worried because they worry. Uh, they still doing the same things. Like I'm telling you, my phone don't ring like it used to all the time. My phone ring is about work or my people or well, somebody I'm trying to persuade to serve the most high. Or that ain't nobody called me like see if I'm still breathing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, let's get it. Revelation chapter 1, verse 2. Who bear the record of the word of God and of the testimony of Yasha and of all things that he saw. That's all he did. In truth, though, he knew. He saw Christ. He was with him. So, let's get that, 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 that word again. Let's get it. What would we at? Strong Cordius 31 40. 30. Yeah, 30 or 40 times. So, so John, it says to be a witness. So he was a witness for Christ. Right? It says, bear record. Have good, honest report. So any people in the world tell you, girl, you change your life. You don't drink no more. You're a good sister. But you really have a good report. See, at, right now, the angels are going back up to the Most High and gave it him our reports. Mm -hmm. He gave they give it to Christ and Christ gave it to his father. Every day at sun sundown, the angel go up and report what we've done and what we said. Everything. Mm -hmm. Right? The church don't tell you that what the Bible does. Mm -hmm. So to the most high they have a good report. Not to man, because man don't know what's good. 
they think all their ways are, are, are good in our eyes. Right? And it says, yeah, let's get it. Where are we at? First John chapter 5, verse 11 through 21. So if we examine ourselves, see if we really in the faith, are we witnesses of Christ? You understand? Are we witnesses of Christ? When people see you, do they see a reflection of Christ? When the most I see you, does he see a reflection of Christ? Huh? <laughs> or you hard headed? Huh? What do you say? Working hard. Working hard at it. Working hard at it? Yeah. Hey, keep working, girl. Hey, <laughs> hey, sis. A worker is do his hire. Con. The most high reward you, and, 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 and you are right. And, I, and, and, and I'm proud of you. For that. You come a long way, girl. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, our praise to hire. Where we at? First John chapter five, verse eleven. <clears throat> the book of First John, chapter five, and verse eleven, and it reads, "And this is the record that God hath given us, given to us eternal life." Stop. A vision. This is the record. God gives a vision, a revelation, a divination to the eternal life. Uh, what did prophet say? And this is the record. This is the record. That book, these scrolls, right? It's the record that God has given us. That what? That God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. It's in his son. Right? Remember, he that has been risen from the dead, he that has raised him has given him power to do the same for us. Christ is the resurrection. He will give that shout and all those in their graves will come out. Mm -hmm. He has life in himself now. Power, authority from his father. Okay? So, Believing on that name ties into what I just said. He has power to resurrect, and he has power Yasha has power to resurrect, and he has power to give the order to destroy. Mm -hmm. That's what believing on his name is all about. Recognize the position his father has given his son. Okay. Okay. You believe on that? Like right now, okay? If I had the power to be myself, say, and I said, Jay, I'll give you a million dollars. It showed you the million dollars if you do these 10 things. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love you, boy. For real. Awesome answer. Awesome answer. Because some people say, I don't care what you had to do to get it. Give me a dollar. Great answer. Right? But my point is the things that you see, right, that's attainable to you, that you believe, if, like right now. If somebody here got a raise, right, at their job, but like now I get a car that I want, but now I get a house that I want, or now I can pay these bills off, why do you believe that? Because it's a raise. The money keeps, but you have evidence that if you went to work and got paid this salary, this is what you can do. Mm -hmm. See, that's that evidence. That's that testimony that is come up in Christ. We, we must believe. Yeah. We must believe that. 
the evidence is right here. So we must believe that when Christ says, I come quickly and my reward is with me. Do you believe that? You get it? Uh, we got to believe that and act on it. Keep working hard, my sister. Keep working, girl. And we all, we as we will, keep working hard, too. Uh, you know, so let's get it. Verse 12. He that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. So, if you're not, if you don't belong to Christ, you don't have life. Remember, Yasha says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. I pray for them that you have given me. What's, what's thine is mine. What's mine is yours. Remember? The most high gives people to his son. For those that are in this class right now, this is what he's doing. You don't come here because you go for the boy and say, I'm going to Bible class, I'm going to find them Hebrews. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? I'm going to find these people. There's someone around here, I heard about them. Mm -hmm. you know? But no, the most high spirit is working in you. So he's trying to bring you back to him. To give you to his son. My job is to be part of those who present you as a chaste version to Christ. That's my job. As a chaste version, someone who has left the world and did not turn back. Say faithful to, to the most high. So let's go. Verse 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. See, see, y'all see his deeper than this believer name. Mm -hmm. Oh, show you how powerful his name is. They changed it. They gave you a Roman deity, Zeus. Zeus. That's your Jesus. Right? Bible clearly called his name Savior. Mm -hmm. He was a Hebrew. Right there, right there, baby. Don't you make that far from there. He was a Hebrew, right? Get it in Matthew where it, it, it says that. Matthew chapter one, I think. Uh, yep. In the Greek. Yeah, that's it. Let's get it. The book of Matthew, chapter 1. Yeah, yeah, 124. Trying to find the center, though. No, it's over here somewhere. Well, it's on this side. No. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I know. It says the Savior is born. Come. Let's see. 21. It's 21. It's 21. It's 21. One to twenty one. Yep, yep, there we go. Yep, right there. Yep. That's a Vince. No, sis, sis, come, 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 sis, come back. Let Ty go. I know you got a stronger punch than Tyler, but. I saw him, but I just did not. You trying to bring the Let's get it. Oh, okay. So all those be doing believe on his name, right? Let's get it. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Savior. For he shall save his people from their sins. Where she should call his name? What? No, read how, how, how it shows. Con. 
and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. It says Jesus, right? Now I want somebody to show me what Jesus is in strong accordance and he means Satan. Please do. And Middle column says that it's Savior. So Savior is supposed to be there, right? Time. So what does Savior mean in Hebrew? What's the what's the word for Savior? As my aunt said, uh H thirty four sixty seven. Yasha. Check out the uh Sleep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's supposed to be there. <laughs> Let's get it. Soon. <laughs> Like, y'all not about to have me calling nobody by any kind of name. <laughs> <laughs> but I did my research. Like, it's legit. Like, I don't know where they came up with that name. There's no date. There's no date. Like, I don't know where they came. Like, that no. came. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. But, like, <laughs> there's no, like, nothing is legit about that. Okay. So, let's get it. So, I mentioned early in the beginning, right? I said that our father. Right, he gave names that have prophetic functionality. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's see what Savior is in Hebrew. It says Yasha. Okay, it says to be safe, to free, to secure at all, avenging, defend. Deliver, help, preserve, rescue, having, I mean, bring salvation. Mm. Now, Christ said himself, salvation is of the Jews. Who need to be rescued from the enemies? Who need to be avenged? Who need salvation? His name is. Is Savior. His name is Yasha. And that's his functionality to redeem, to save, to avenge his people. Okay? That would be his function when he get here. Okay? He's going to avenge all those who destroy his people. He said, recompense her double. Fill a cup up. Double. Babylon the Great. And all her inhabitants who punish his children will be paid back. And that's why he says vengeance is his. So, and all of us who want to follow our oppressors and their philosophies and ideologies, what else you want to, G's you want to put on that, isms, will be paid back to. Just like he said about our forefathers, I will consume them with their own wickedness. Not just in the past, but in the present and in the future. So let's keep going. These things have I written, Salakia, uh, 1 John 5 and 13. Wait, I want to go somewhere too. Think, what we start with? Was it 11? 5 and 13. 5 and 13. In the middle of 13, I think. I want to get this real quick. Matthew 28. No, uh, uh, verse 13. Are you on 13 yet? Time, I'm on 13 right now. Okay. Get it. Time. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. So you believe, like I said, that the Most High gave all authority. Okay? I'm going to stop right here, right? I'm going to go to Matthew 28, 18. <laughs> Matthew 28:18. Show you what I said that all authority had been given to him. So hold y'all that too. We're going right back over to that. Too late. <laughs> 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 Let's get it. Matthew 28, verse 18 reads. 
And Yasha came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Is that authority? Khan. All authority has been given to him in heaven and on earth. So that's what we have to believe on. Okay. He's the one. Okay. There is no other name we can call on, no other place we can go to try to sneak into the kingdom. Because he is the door. Okay. Let's get back to where we was at in uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. And then you'll, you'll hear what, what John will say. In this, we have confidence in him. That's what it's talking about. First John, chapter 5, verse 14. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. My first one. He come on here, sit down. Let's get it. Anybody there? No. no it's, okay, let's go. Verse fourteen, and this is the confidence that we have in Him. Yeah. That so this is a confidence that we have in Yasha, what we just what we just talked about, who he is, what he represents. Okay, go ahead. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Didn't Christ tell them that? Remember he told them that? If you stay in if you stay in me, you keep my words. Whenever you ask the Father concerning his will, not your own will. That's what we get it twisted at. Right? We pray for our own will. Right? And that's what Satan answers. Your own will. So you get it twisted. It's the most God has given me this and this and that. Your will. It's the most high. It has to be concerning his will. Like a brother, he asked me, we were talking about earlier today. He wants to uh to uh hopefully in the future get a van. He can bring more people down here that's that want to come. Ah, so you think the most high is going to get you a van for it, mm. bring people to his table? Mm. Most high be a liar if that ain't true. Mm. But by hooking back crew, most high get you here. You know what I'm saying? So that's in harmony with his will. Oh. Right? So, not saying that it seems in personal life, you know, it's going on like uh, the Bible says, you know, you pray. And you make your supplications, right? Your requests. You as child. So that don't mean whatever your will is, he's not going to do it. But it has to make sense to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. If he take you in that he's taking you. Right. Yeah. If you have faith in him. And that's one thing. If you ask him something and you double minded and you don't believe in it, trust me, you ain't going to get it. If you don't, if you have doubt, your doubt has ruined your chances of getting the blessing. All right? So, let's get it. Verse 15, and if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. If any man see his brother sin a sin, which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is there is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. Do y'all know what he's talking about? You don't get it? Do anyone know? Take a shot at it. Right? It says, if any man sees, sees, sees his brother that sin is sin that's not unto God, pray for your brother. Right? There's only one sin that you cannot be forgiven for. What's that? Holy Spirit. That's the only sin. Christ, you can talk bad about me, curse me, whatever. The most I will forgive you. You cannot sin against his mother. You can you, you cannot sin against the most highest wife. Meaning, like, like, like for, for example, 
if I sit here and see this, this will change her whole life. Right? She's telling me that the most high, it was the power of the most high. Shalom, mutual. And I told her, no, it wasn't. From the lying with the most high, I had done through the spirit. That's it that gets the, like, like, like for example, when Christ was doing the powerful works, it was coming through his Holy Spirit. Christ's mother was here giving the power. Oh, for those who understand, the Holy Spirit is pointing. She's the true queen of heaven. She's the most high's wife. She's not some dude that the Romans taught us about. Did we, did we do that on the phone, sister? Did we do that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. You got to explain that to me. <laughs> I want to see that. I said, look, come to class that uh, we do it. I said, no, let's get it right now. Yeah. Yeah. It was clear. It was very clear. My sister, I praise the high. But when the, when the, when the prophets were, were, were doing the powerful works, when Christ was doing the powerful works, they called him Bezalel, a demon. That's blasphemy against him. You know it's not the most high. Like, when we see brothers that's operating in the spirit, right, we recognize that only the most high can change that brother or change that sister. Right? So therefore, when you see the brother going sideways or whatever, you know that brother got the spirit. Because no one can change by himself. Right? We're going to read the scripture and we're going to say, you must be, Christ must be formed in you. That's why I said keep working with the sister. But for you to go against the works of the most high is blasphemy. You know what I'm saying? It's blasphemy. Does it make sense to you? Huh? Hmm? Oh, it's my wife. Can you explain to you later? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do, do, do y'all get it? Or do y'all make it going? In? Can you tell, I mean, I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, but can you just a little, like, expand a little bit more on it? Okay. Uh, okay. I see I can explain this. Let's say, for example, the leader of the Gathering of Christ Church, okay, if I say that that brother never had the spirit of the Most High, that was not the Most High work, that'd be blasphemy against the Most High. That'd be blasphemy against his Holy Spirit. I know the Most High used that brother. You know what I'm saying? Only the Holy Spirit can do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But it's like, we're not doing powerful works right now. So Christ will give you examples of powerful works. You know what I'm saying? It's like when, when Paul cast out that, that demon that was in the, in the one system. If, if the brother would say that he had the power, that power came from, from Satan, that's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Right? But today, we, we don't see that like that. So we see his actions in, in people. You know what I mean? So, make sense? Yeah. Sure. Make sense? Well, you know what I'm talking about. Probably. What did the Bible tell us to judge? It does. The Bible told you don't judge if you're doing the same thing as the person that you're judging. But I have to, we have to judge each other to correct one another. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So, like, if if you're going to break the Sabbath, if I see him, I got to be mad. Oh, it's a Sabbath. Now, I'm not judging because really, see, that's nothing. That word right there for judge in the Greek, it means uh, like um, making a reflect, like, like, like what's the word? To like um, give you a sentence of death. Like when you go to, to the court, when the judge gives his judgment, that's your punishment or whatever he, you got coming. That's what Paul was saying. Let no man judge you for these things. Because mm -hmm. back then, we was getting stoned for breaking the law. But Christ brought mercy and grace to the law. 
So parts of it, let me kill you for breaking the law. Because if he, he's given us time to get it right. He given those individuals where there was no grace or mercy for within the law to change their life. Like if he was a homosexual, there was no there was no repentance, you got killed. If he was an adulterer, you got killed under the witness of two or more. But now when Christ comes, he gives those people opportunity to, like that one sister that came to him, right? They, they caught her in the act. Christ gave her mercy and grace. He said, sin no more. Go your way. But under the law, she's supposed to be dead. They was ready to stone her, but right? And Christ said, which one of you who have not seen cast her stone? Mm-hmm. And they all creeped up that thing one by one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But there's an unrighteous person trying to destroy another unrighteous person. All right. So Christ is the judge now. Come. He's the one that's going to give you the, 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 the sentence, whether it be righteous or unrighteous. Your works. So that's what it means. But no, we have to judge each other. Mm-hmm. Meaning, you know, warn our brothers and our sisters. And that's why I said in the last days, we will get offended. Because they would use that word and trick us and say, you can't judge me. No, sister, you eat pork. Sister, please don't do that. The most high going to kill you. You eat catfish. Sister, don't do it. The most high going to kill you. Out of love, I'm trying to warn you. He didn't make those animals to be consumed. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. <laughs> you know, one day you come on the wheels and we have law class, we can go through the whole dietary law. And we can break it down for you. Okay? Or after class. It don't matter. Okay? But yeah, so out of love, we're supposed to warn our brothers and sisters before they blow our trumpets. Mm-hmm. Tell our people their transgressions. Because mm-hmm. if you don't know your transgressions, guess what? If I see you doing something and I will tell you, guess what? Mm-hmm. Your blood is on my hands. Mm-hmm. Right? The watchman has to warn the people. Right? Now, once I warned you and you decide to do your own thing, my hands are washed clean. Your blood is on your own hands. Yeah. No. Your recording has reached the maximum length. Not for that. If you broke the dietary law, there's no way the Bible was was, where you got destroyed. But if you, but so I'm saying this is there's no way the Bible that shows. Let me let me let me retract myself. Eating pork is a sin for death. Because if you brought pork to the altar, you'll be burned with fire. And that, the eating is a sacrifice. So I'm wrong on that. I, I apologize for that. And that's why uh, in two weeks when we do the piece of dedication, we're going to read about that. When these Grecians, they put pork on our altar and defiled our altar. And, and now we have to tear that thing down and rebuild it and re- have a, a, a rededication to the most high of altar. So, yeah, you will get destroyed being poor. Sorry for that. <laughs> you know, yeah, but the most high you playing that at all. You know what I'm saying? It's because there's too many people who get destroyed, burnt alive, cut, did this member for not eating pork. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Not yeah, they, they try to get to break the law. So, just to keep them in class, we don't need some information, girl. <laughs> but we have people who have, no, nah, but we have people who stood up and got burnt in the, what you call them, big old? Things I want to see. Yeah, big old hot frying pan. You know what I'm saying? Alive. All they had to do was eat pork. They said we were to die to break the laws of our fathers. And they died gloriously in most of our fathers <laughs> that they'll be the kingdom. So we have to, so sister, but pork is not to be eaten. All the other things like like I I'll explain to you in a minute, if you if you if you will. But those animals was created to, to clean the earth, the waters and the seas. Not to be consumed. And that's why they're poisonous. And that's why our people are sick. Because yeah. we're eating the things that are poisonous. That most eyes trying to clean and keep the ecosystem that they call it going. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's all whack. We eat all the creatures that are the cleaners. So you're right, the garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what you what like, girl? No, white make these uh. They, they, they little, but they're right though. The turkey chops, any little turkey, lamb, turkey, turkey chop, turkey chops, girl, huh? Yeah. If you want restaurant for that, anyway, where? 
Kentucky by the actual committee of the when he was talking about the unprecedented Holy Spirit. 